It was a bright and sunny morning. The young animals had agreed to meet at Barry Beaver's house. So Crunchy and Munchy Squirrel ate breakfast and off they went. They stopped to get their friends so they could all walk together. While on their way, Marcy Monkey was telling her friends about her new watch. Marcy's mother had just bought it for her and Marcy was very excited. Marcy's friends looked at the watch in awe because none of them had ever owned a watch before. Can I see? asked one of her friends. Each one of them tried on the watch to see how it looked on their wrist. This looks nice on my arm, said Munchie. I like it too, said Terry Turtle. Maybe one day I can have my own. After a short while, they reached Barry's house. Look at what Marcy got, said Munchie. Wow, said Barry. A new watch? That's nice. Can I try it on? Barry tried on the watch, and he also thought it looked good on him. Okay, what are we going to play, said Terry. The young animals talked and talked until they finally decided on the game. Let's play skipping rocks, said Marcy. Yes, that sounds like a great idea, yelled the friends. The animal friends were playing together and having lots of fun. The young animals had contests to see who could skip their rock the most times. They also tried to see who could skip them the farthest. When Marcy bent over to pick up a rock, her watch slipped off her arm. She didn't notice the watch fall and kept on playing. A few hours went by and Marcy noticed her watch was missing and she started crying. Don't cry, Marcy, said Munchie. We will find it. The friends looked and looked for Marcy's watch. Eventually, Terry Turtle found her watch, but instead of giving it to Marcy, he put it in his pocket. Marcy's friends were dismayed and sad that she hadn't found her watch. Don't worry, Marcy, Crunchy said softly. Someone will find your watch and they will be given back to you. As they walked towards their homes, Marcy continued to cry. Her heart was broken by the loss. I guess it will show up one day, said Marcy. I'm not going to worry anymore. They soon arrived at Terry's house and everyone told him goodbye. Terry pulled his hands out of his pockets to wave goodbye, and out fell the watch. <gasps> was the sound said as everyone sucked in a breath of air. Is that your watch? Perry Pelican asked Marcy. Yes, it is, said Marcy. The friends were very disappointed that Terry was still Marcy's watch. What are you doing with Marcy's watch? asked Crunchy. I found it by the rocks, and I was going to keep it, said Terry. I like it very much. The watch is nice, Terry, but it belongs to Marcy. You were stealing the watch from her, and that is wrong, said Crunchy. Terry said, I know it was wrong. I'm sorry, Marcy. Please forgive me. Terry gave Marcy her watch back, and she forgave him. The young animals all went to their homes and enjoyed the rest of the evening. This was a day of stealing and a lesson learned in honesty and forgiveness in the lives of Crunchy and Munchy Squirrel. The morals of the story are you should not take what doesn't belong to you and you should forgive others that have done you wrong.